continue reading about the flower fairies. And, of course, make a fairy garden. Hi, it's Sharon from Sherry's Fairies. And it's Fairy Garden Thursday. So, we're going to work on a couple of things that I'm going to take to the seniors hall and put up for display for spring, along with the big one that I made last year. So, continue this to continue this series, I'm going to read some more from our book, The Complete Book of the Flower Fairies by Cecilia Mary Barker. So, we're reading the springtime. I got myself a cute little coffee mug. It's got mushrooms all over it. I thought it was just so sweet. Especially to do with my fairy gardens. <laughs> Anyhow, I'll take a sip of coffee and we'll get busy reading. The Song of the Colt's Foot Fairy The winds of March are keen and cold. I fear them not, for I am bold. I wait not for my leaves to grow. They follow after. They are slow. My yellow blossoms are brave and bright. I greet the spring with all my might. Cute little fairy picture. The second one says, The Song of the Salandine Fairy. Before the hawthorn leaves unfold, or buttercups put forth their gold, by even sunny footpaths shine the stars of lesser Caladine. Saladine, I think it said. Anyhow, it's, she's very cute. All the little fairies in here are cute. The Song of the Dandelion Fairy. Here is the dandelion's rhyme. See my leaves with tooth-like edges. Blow my clocks to tell the time. See my flaunting by the edges. In the meadow, in the lane, gay and naughty in the garden, pull me up, I grow again. Ask neither leave, leave nor pardon, asking neither leave nor pardon. Sillies, what are you about? With your spades and hoe of iron, you can never drive me out. Me, the dauntless dandelion. Well, that's so cute. Good. Well, I have all these little things from the dollar store. And I wanted to make the fairy on a swing little garden. So the first thing I'm going to do is find a piece of this. artificial turf here I'm telling you that I got this in the th in the dollar store it's just plastic on one side and it's cork on the other side. I thought it would make a great base for fairy gardens, so that's what I'm using it for. Always fix them. Okay, now I know I want this little fairy on a swing. I think this is very cute. I'm going to put it in one of my displays, not sell it because I broke it. I'll have to buy another one if I want to make one to sell. Anyhow, I'm going to put this 
little fella right up here. And I'm pretty sure if I just glue her down, good. Oh, I'm going to turn my gun up. It's not hot. That's why the glue's coming out slow. And we're going to put it back here. Nice little tree with a fairy swinging on it. Oh, I think it's very, very cute. Now, let me see. Oh, I should put the book away. little fairy who's sitting on a log they can be and then I can have more garden here so I like that there so we'll put the bird back there and like I said all of this stuff is from the Dollar Tree so now I'm going to start to build the garden up over here. Now let's just pull out a handful of flowers and see what we've got and what will inspire us. I'm just picking out random flowers, big, small, whatever. You know, I'm just gluing them on there in kind of a, a bunch, so it kind of looks like a bush. But we know it's not a bush. It's just a whole bunch of flowers because they look pretty. And I'm putting some of the pink lilac branches over by the log where that fairy is sitting. And I'm just going to continue to build and build and build this garden until I like it. I don't know if I mentioned, but this little fairy is sitting on a log. Did I not glue her down? I guess I didn't. Oh my. Oh my, we got to glue her down. <laughs> this little fairy is sitting on a log. Sitting on a log in the park with her friends on the swing. And... We want to put her right there so we can see her watching her friends swing. There we go. <clears throat> so I'm just going to continue building this garden and adding things here and there. So just till I like it. And I'd like to invite you at this time, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, to please, please subscribe. And I'm going to remind you that on this channel, there are other people who do fairy gardens. And we all really enjoy our fairy gardens. And thank you, Grandma Sandy, for starting this channel. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. I really enjoy it. Okay, back to building. The garden and a welcome sign. So now we need some green. I'm going to take some of this stuff and I'm going to make it like, maybe like little bushes at the back. Pool of thread and I wrap some little greenery around it and then I stuck some little greenery in the hole and the pictures are jerky because my camera battery was so low. And then I place this little tree right beside the fairy on the swing. And I think it's quite adorable. So I've got my little tree set up right behind, right beside the little fairy in the swing. And now I've decided that I'm going to put some more of the pink lilac flowers right behind the log. And that just kind of finishes it off nice. Okay, so now I put this stuff all around the little flower garden.
And there's our girl sitting on the log. I think she should have a bunny rabbit by her foot. I think we'll have to find a bunny rabbit. And my girl on the swing. I want to cover up the glue on that. So I'll put something up there. I don't know. Maybe I'll put some flowers or something. Maybe just moss. I think moss would be good. But we're getting there. I think this little playground's turning out pretty cute. We have the bird bath with the little birdie on it. Yeah, I think it needs a rabbit. So, I think I'm gonna go look for a rabbit. Well, here's our little fairy garden. All finished. We put a bunny rabbit in there. Looks so cute. And I covered up the glue with the moss. And the little tree that's standing in the spool, wooden spool of thread is cute. And our two fairies are just having a great visit. A great visit in the park. Another one. But it's just going to be like a tulip garden to sit in the display because it's spring. Don't know if it's going to work that well, but I'm going to give her a go and see if I can make it work. Okay, I have all these very tulips. <laughs> I have all these very pretty tulips in a vase. And I'm going to put them in here. And going to look like a tulip garden. Probably put moss all around. And then we'll take that up to the seniors hall and it'll be part of the display. Let's put it in behind. There we go. Okay, this one's taller than this one. Yeah, it's really annoying that this is wiggling. <laughs> Make this so it quits rocking. How can I do that? Oh, get some. Some to glue on it. And I'm going to glue this on here. And hopefully it'll sit. I'm going to glue it on the middle. Oops. <laughs> Everything's going to fall out, but oh well. I got it glued on the black thing so that it is sitting flat and now I'm putting little shims underneath because that thing has a wow on it in it so now I need to make it so it sits nice and steady. Some of the tulips some of their petals are falling down because these are thrifted tulips and I've used them quite a few times in quite a few different arrangements and some of them just need a little help because so I'm just gluing the petals back up so that they look nice again. And I'm going to have to fix and put a new battery in pretty soon. Oh, found one more tulip. I'm going to stick it in here. Oops, got to get... Oh, the bird is there. Forgot about that. <laughs> okay, get in. Okay, there we have our pretty little tulip garden. And I decided I'm going to cover all of this stuff with this lace that I got at the thrift store. And I just cut a piece large enough and I'm just going to tack it at the back here with my glue gun. Hopefully it'll all stick. Styrofoam sometimes doesn't like to stick with glue. And this is our this is our finished bouquet of tulips. I added a couple of pansies 
and if you look close enough in there you can see a little bird nesting oh i thought that was pretty cute so these are the two things that are going to go to the seniors hall tomorrow for putting up the spring garden I'd like to thank you again for watching and I'd like to welcome all my new subscribers and send out a big YouTube hug for all my regulars who just keep on watching. Thank you, thank you. And if you enjoyed this content, please feel free to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. It's free to subscribe. And Last but not least, I'd like to thank Grandma Sandy, who created this channel for all our fairy guard lovers. I know I sure enjoy doing the fairy gardens. And I believe the seniors that come to the Norbridge Seniors Hall to do activities. We do all kinds of stuff at this hall, from Tai Chi to line dancing to yoga to Pilates, all kinds of exercises. There's a gym, and of course they have cards and music and crafts and card making, and they have bingo, and there's lots of activities, something for everyone. Anyhow, just thought I'd give that little Call a plug, and the people that manage it are wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Thank you. So, we'll see you next week on Thursday at the Norbridge Hall, and I will put up my spring display. Thanks again, Grandma Sandy. We'll see you all in my next video, which is Surprise Sunday. Who knows what I'm going to do? It's a surprise. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye.